Today, I'll be showing you 7 secret scratch tips you need to know about. Let's begin. Tip 1. If you have a reference image right here in the vector and you want to get the exact color, here's how to do it. First, convert it to vector. Next, click on the image. Now right here where it says fill, you want to click on it and click this tool right here. Now you click on any part of the image you want and you get the exact color. You can draw over it. This is really helpful for block shades and using art that you want from a reference. Tip 2. If you're struggling to get the perfect shapes in your scratch vector art, well then this tip might just be for you. First, get any shape you want. It can be a line, circle, or a square. Click on the shape you want and hold down shift then draw the shape. Now you got equal edges on the shape. So there we go, we got a perfect square. Now if we do a line and hold down shift, we get a perfect line. If we do a circle and hold down shift, we get a perfect circle. This is a really good hack to use and it makes your art look more professional. Tip 3. Now I'm going to show you guys a variable hack. So go down and make a variable. I'm going to call it subscribe. Then click OK. And over here, if you right click on your variable, you get all these options for how to show your variable. You can do a large readout or even a slider readout. This is a really cool hack not many scratches know about. Tip 4. Have you ever tried to make a sprite go to size 1000? But then you realize it only goes to size 540? Well then, here's how to get your sprite to go to size 1000. First, make a new costume. Make sure it's a blank costume. Set the size to 1000. And now go back to your original costume. And there you go. Your sprite should be at size 1000. Tip 5. We all know that in Scratch you can use this block to make your sprite go to the next costume. But what if you want your sprite to go back costumes? Well, I'll show you how to do that. So go into the events, make a new message, and I'm going to call it subscribe. Now if you click OK, and you click, when I receive subscribe, then repeat however many costumes you have, then switch costume, then in the operators you get the minus symbol right here, then at the bottom of looks, you get costume number, and you say switch costume to costume number minus one. Tip 6. In Scratch, a good way to make your art more cool is by making it transparent. So if we go ahead and draw something, and we click this third little square, and the first color, you want to make sure there's no color, and you can pick your color, and if you draw, look at this, we got this cool effect. This is also very good for gradients too. Tip 7. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make smooth movement in Scratch. So make sure you have a sprite ready and then code when green flag clicked, forever, point towards mouse pointer, move, and then divided by, distance to mouse pointer, divided by 4, and then set rotation style so don't rotate. Now if we test this out, our cat slowly glides to our mouse. This is very smooth. Well guys, that's it for this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and check out some more of my videos. Thank you so much. I'm Chewing Fruit Gum. Bye.